Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sue. I'm 10 years old. Today, I will talk about the effects of lying. Okay, now, let's play a game. Two truths and a lie. Let's start. I've been on the airplane before. I love music. And after I was born, I was sent to a sensitive care. Which one do you think was a lie? Got it? The lie was that we're not playing two truths and a lie. But have you ever told a lie? Everyone has. But have you ever thought what it could do to you? What if not lying would give you a better job? What if that job pays more? Would you still do it? You've probably thought, huh, this one I won't hurt, but then you keep doing it over and over and over until it becomes a habit. Once it becomes a habit, people will start avoiding you. I know who experience. It will happen. My sister drew a red on her face, claiming it was a bug bite. I don't trust her too much anymore, as she's my own sister. This is only one of the things lying can do to you. Stress, unhappiness, and damaged mental health are all things that can happen when you lie. Why did these things happen? Let me tell you the truth, like I should. I don't know, but here's what I do know. To prevent from this happening, practice telling the truth. And if you if feel you're about to lie, just think how you feel if you knew someone was lying to you. You walk up to 20 best friends and ask if they can go to the movie. They say they can't. No time. And you are right with that. But you don't know what's coming. About 30 minutes later, the movie still wouldn't go in, but you see your friend shopping at the mall with someone else. Have ever has this ever happened to you? Where you can prevent it from happening to someone else just by telling the truth. It's hard, right? But think about the bright side. Maybe you like it. Now, the big question is how will lying affect your to your health? Anaya Kelly a psychology professor at Notre Dame in Diana performed a 10-week project on 110 adults. She asked half the adults to stop lying for the 10 weeks and the other half to record the lies they do each day. After 10 weeks, the data showed the half that didn't lie, their health improved. But the half that did lie, their health decreased. You now know what was what lying can do to you. You know what it can do to relationships. Lying isn't good. And I hope you remember that the next time you think you're about to lie. Thank you for listening to my speech.